Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in for this Paranormal Pit Stop. Tonight, we'll be exploring a popular historic landmark located off of Mentor Avenue out of Mentor, Ohio, which preserves the Lawnfield Estate, which actually acted as residence to 20th President of the U.S., James Abram Garfield, and incidentally, which also includes the first established presidential library in the country. Rumored to harbor a range of chilling, ghostly manifestations tied to its past, are you sure you're ready to brave the history and hauntings of the James A. Garfield National Historic Site? Historically, land now hosting our current historic site was initially owned under the Dickey family, headed by James Dickey, who, in 1832, would construct a nine-room farmhouse. In 1876, James Abram Garfield would purchase this home and connected property from James Dickey's widow, after which, in 1880, he would transform the farmhouse into a 20-room mansion to accommodate he and his family. Around this same time, Garfield would be selected as Republican candidate for the 1880 presidential election, and following this selection, waves of visitors would begin flooding his estate. While Garfield was advised that it was not the responsibility of the candidate to run their own campaign, he'd humbly and happily accommodate his droves of guests, and would address the people in person through way of speeches issued right from his front porch, as well as meet and greets, resulting in the first ever front porch campaign from what would be called by reporters on field. On March 4th of 1881, Garfield was inaugurated as President of the United States. However, sadly, on July 2nd of the same year, he was shot by assassin Charles Gateau and would live for only another 80 days before perishing on September 19th to infection. Following his passing, Garfield's widow Lucretia would remain within their cherished estate and over the years would issue a range of renovations, modernizations, and additions, all the while raising their children on her own. In 1918, Lucretia would join her love in death, after which her brother Joseph would reside within their old family home until his passing in 1934, and in 1936, the property would be donated to the Western Reserve Historical Society by Garfield Heirs for use as a museum. In 1980, the expanse was designated a National Historic Site. Through the 1990s, it would welcome a slew of repairs and restorations, and in 1998, a grand reopening ceremony was held. The James A. Garfield National Historic Site remains open into the present, standing as one of the most accurately and authentically restored and detailed of all 19th century U.S. presidential landmarks. Notably, 80% of the furniture and effects kept on site are actual artifacts from the Garfield family, and for those who are interested, the institution does offer a variety of touring options as well as a slew of events. Rather tragically, the whole of this weathered property is rumored to harbor the lingering souls of the Garfield family and possibly several presences related to acquaintances who cherish the estate and lives since past, and those frequenting its bounds have detailed a range of otherworldly encounters, including extreme cold patches felt in adverse weather or within climate-controlled zones, instances of doors and windows opening and closing at random, and objects sighted moving about on their own, or entire displays or even rooms discovered rearranged in the morning, after the building has been locked up and empty through the night. During their lives together, James and Lucretia would welcome seven children into the world. However, sadly, two would pass very early, and it's believed their small souls, or at least pieces of them, might remain in the only place they ever knew. Eerily, both staff and guests to the Garfield site have reported the phantom pitter-patter of little feet, giggles that emanate from vacant rooms, and perturbing instances in which the sound of crying seemingly emanates from the manor's very bones. Several informal investigations of this weathered property have yielded high EMF levels, chilling EVPs, orbs and odd anomalies captured in photography and video, and strange fluctuations on thermal grids, while others have told of disembodied footsteps and voices, of phantom wafts of cigar smoke, of a threatening vibe detected while upstairs, and of the constant feelings of being watched, of being followed, or even of being touched by someone or something unseen. Additionally, the estate's front door is commonly found ajar even after being securely locked, while random scraps of paper bearing what seems to be the former president's handwriting have been discovered scattered about. Lastly, the death of Garfield is said to have left Lucretia broken, and long-standing local legends tell her mournful spirit still wonders about. Surprisingly, security staff has reported instances in which entire rooms are found cleaned and reorganized courtesy of Lucretia, and after dark, her soft footsteps are often detected from upstairs, where she leaves every light on in her wake, possibly due to a very human fear of the dark.
Thanks for joining us for this Paranormal Pit Stop. If you enjoyed hearing our histories and ghost stories, subscribe to our channel, like this upload, and share us with anyone you feel could use a good scare. We'll catch you next time.